Hello everyone, welcome to this video. I'm Dr. Ojo. So today I just thought I should do this short video as a sequel to the last one I did on where to find professors that are funded, uh, that are currently funded in the US so you can uh, easily send out emails to them to show interest in their research in the hopes that you are going to get uh, the opportunity to serve as a research assistant under that, that person for your master's or PhD. Now, um, this the last time we talked about the NIH and the NSF. So in this video, I'm going to show you two other websites or databases where you can do this kind of search. Now, if you have not seen the previous video, I would really recommend that you see that because it's more comprehensive than this particular video and I'm going to put the link in the description and in the comment section. But this video will have two different um, databases. Now the first one we are going to talk about is the USDA. Now that's the United States Department of Agriculture. So you can imagine that here this would only or kind of favor those who are interested in agricultural related research or food related research so anything food and agriculture now to go to get to this website i'm going to display the web address on the screen but um, basically it's um portal.nefa.usda.gov slash lmd4 slash recent underscore awards so if you go there you get to this page and as you can see the date you can see the the most recently awarded grant was on the 10th on the 15th of october and today is um 23rd of december of october right so um of course uh, this particular database is not as um expansive as the last one uh, but you can still get some information here so you can see the award date the grant grant number grant title so if you're interested in any of this kind of research you can click the proposal number for more information so if you click the proposal number you'll see more information about the school and the name of the you know the project director so you can try to find that that particular school and the uh, professor and see if you can send out you know emails to show interest but don't do it randomly it has to be something you are interested in right and something you maybe have an earlier training to achieve or to support your interest you can also do a search on this website let's say you are someone interested in wheat right uh, you can wheat research so you can click that uh, so search for wheat as the keyword there, you can see that there was a recent award uh, to a lot of universities to study wheat. So you can click the grant number or the proposal number and um, you know look at more information on the grants. You can see the institution and the name of the professor here. So you can then read more about the uh, the professor and send out emails to them. I've, I've um, explained how to send out cold emails to professors on this channel. I'm going to display it on the screen right now. So if you have not seen that, please see that video. Now, um, I think that's about all in this. It's a simple database. It's not as um, complicated as uh, uh, the ones I explained in the previous video. Now, the second website I'm going to talk about, which is Grantum, grantum.com slash search. So if you go to grantsome.com slash search, you will get to this page. Now, they I don't know how updated this website is, but they claim to, you know, be able to, you know, curate all grants from NIH and NSF. So if you don't want to go through individual websites for NSF or NIH, you can come here because they claim to, you know, be able to get you to any of the NSF or NIH grants. So I don't know how true that is. For me, I would prefer you go to the individual websites of NSF and NIH as I uh, explained in the last video. So let's say you're interested in, in kidney disease uh, research, 
right so you type kidney disease and just click search so you can this are the recent uh, awards to kidney disease researchers in the US so you want to maybe click that and read more about the abstract of the project and the aim and um, this is the name of the investigator and if you scroll down you will see the institution so in this case you can if you are interested in their research you can send a cold email because they recently got a grant i mean you're not going to say that in the email but i mean you just stand a better chance of of getting a position when someone has a recent grant recent money that they want to spend so that's that's just how it works so if i go back to that home page you can also do an advanced search i believe if you know the specific institutions that you want to attend maybe someone has told you that a particular institution is great and you just want to see the you know uh, recent awards that they got so i don't know stanford let me just put stanford university here because that's where i am right now so you can just do that so it's going to bring out all the recent uh, words to Stanford University and I mean I don't know if this is effective but I think going through the research interest uh, like I explained before in the previous video is the best way to do it. I've now shown you four different websites uh, where you can get funding or recently funded professors so you have the NSF, the NIH, the USDA and Grantum so with this, you shouldn't have any problems or you should have little problems locating professors that um, were recently funded. If you have an idea of what you want to do in terms of research in the United States. So that's all I have for you. I hope you subscribe to the channel and like the video if you found it helpful. It helps us get shown to more people if you like the video so please do that and also we are on all social media platforms if you want to connect and ask questions that's all i have i'm dr Oja. i'll see you in the next video